Here's problem eight. It says, which is a valid conclusion that can be drawn from these statements? So they're going to give us two statements. The one's going to imply something to the second, and we're going to be able to make some conclusion relating the first and the second. So what's usually going to happen? It says, if a quadrilateral is a rhombus, then it is a parallelogram. Now notice, if a quadrilateral is a rhombus, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. If the quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its opposite angles are congruent. Now we have the quadrilateral is a rhombus, that means parallelogram, the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. But then right here it says, but if it's a parallelogram, its opposite angles are congruent. So what I see is that if the quadrilateral is a rhombus, we can conclude its opposite angles are congruent. Because it says if a quadrilateral is a rhombus, then that quadrilateral is a parallelogram. But if that quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its opposite angles are congruent. So if we have this proving that, and then this proving that, this can prove the final statement. Looks like C. Opposite angles of a rhombus are congruent. Now again, if a quadrilateral is a rhombus, its opposite angles are congruent. Opposite angles of a rhombus are congruent. This is the same thing as what's being said here. If a quadrilateral is a rhombus, then its opposite angles are congruent. But they notice they mess up the wording. They change it around just a little bit. But no big deal, but we can see the answer here, the conclusion we can draw is choice C.